Hi everybody, a short video here to show you the improvements that I've made to my Elite Wood Fire Pizza Oven today. So if you look at my previous videos, you've seen it, you know what it looks like, and now you might notice something different. And the difference is, on the bottom there, we have put some heavy duty 6 inch uh, wheels, casters, um, which can turn and all that sort of stuff and they've also got full brakes and locks which are locked in position now so to get this little job done you can imagine this oven on the stand all decked up and everything like this I reckon there's about 700 kilos there odd um, because the oven and the factory on the conversion kit frame they reckon that's about 400 kilos so with the timber and everything I reckon I'm at 700 so what I did is I got a pallet jack because obviously these ovens get delivered and the conversion kit frame gets delivered on a, 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 like with a pallet jack so there's pallet jacks out there which are like a scissor lift because a pallet jack only jacks up a couple of centimeters to get you off the ground and get you moving but the scissor lift or high lift type pallet jacks um, they're the same size and everything but they're like a scissor underneath so they can actually lift up about a meter a meter and a half off the ground so I got myself one of those um, I found a bloke who was renting his out online on Gumtree actually. Uh, he was renting it out for 50 bucks a day. Um, so look, I, I rented his scissor pallet jack, lifted the barbecue up off the ground. Then I went to a company in Australia, uh, you can check their website out, called Richmond AU. And these guys make wheels and casters for, uh, make me, I think even trains and stuff. They're huge and they hold a lot of weight. Now these are six inch wheels I bought from them and each one is supposed to hold 300 kilos um, so there's four of them so it should hold about 1.2 ton and I reckon we're holding about 700 kilos all up so they they had if you can just see there between the wheel and the stand these black collars they're um, they're collars that go into the 50 mil pipe of the conversion kit frame or into any 50 mil pipe. They've got them all different sizes for all different sorts of pipe work. Um, then there's a thread inside. I bought the ones that had stainless steel. They got soft steel, stainless steel, normal steel. I bought stainless steel because it's obviously going to be sitting outside. I bought stainless steel wheels. Um, each one of these wheels, are, um, they can be quite expensive, but um, they gave me a fairly good price on them. I paid about $95 a wheel. Um, then the bolts and everything all up, the bolts, the plastic collars to go inside, the whole lot, uh, cost me, I think it was about $420 all up. And the wheels provide two functions. First of all, um, I can move it around because I do plan on doing some extensions outside at some stage maybe, um, and I do want to be able to move the oven. But also I wanted lift. Um, the way the oven comes, which is a finished height of about 93 94 centimeters um, which is bench height look that it's bench height but it's not a good cooking height um, I found that I was bending over too much and when you're cooking you know with people over sometimes 12 to 15 16 pizzas um, and you're bending over all the time put the pizza in see how it's going play with your fire all that sort of stuff I'll tell you what all the bending over um, after a couple of hours of cooking um, was a real pain uh, and I was getting a pretty sore back from it so Looking around at instructions on how to make proper built-in ovens and looking at pizza ovens in restaurants I sort of noticed that they're all actually about 1.1 high not 90 95 high so about 1.1 meters So these wheels and casters and everything um, apart from being able to handle the weight of the whole thing um, They actually gave me exactly 200 millimeters lift. It was um, uh, 18 centimeters or 180 millimeters <laughs> Uh, the wheels alone, then those little black collars that go in, um, they gave a little bit more, so all up I've got 200 mil lift. So now the whole oven finished height for me um, is 11.30 I measured it out, um, so 1 meter 13 centimeters, 11.30 millimeters, um, which is a perfect, perfect height. This, this bench top here now, um, now I, I'm about 5'10", high um, you know just under six foot but this bench top here now sits just um, just sort of like the middle of my chest um, which is a 
great height, I reckon, for now, for me, when I've got to make my pizzas and uh, when I'm here sort of thing. Um, I'm not going to be bending down to look inside. I'm not going to be bending down to, to slide my pizzas in. I'm not going to be bending down to play and check my fire. So I'm really happy with the extra 20 mil height that I've got. Um, so that's an improvement that I've made today to my oven. The whole job, believe it or not, took me the sum total of about 30 minutes. Got the jack in, jacked her up, put the four collars in, um, screwed and tightened the wheels into the collars. Um, the collars, I also put a little bit of Araldite. Um, for anybody overseas who doesn't have Seedley's Araldite, it's basically epoxy resin. Just to give those collars a bit more strength, as suggested by the guy from Richmond AU. Um, who are the wheel makers and um, yeah, so that's my improvements for the day. Hope you enjoyed